Shall we do a cleanse or shall, shall you do the sound healing? What do you think? Do you want me to do my cleanse and you can do the sound? Yeah, sounds good. Let me see if I can record. Yeah, uh, I need permission. You need to make me co-host. Sorry, everybody. Te technical. There you go. Okay. Uh, first, let's um, thank everybody for coming. This is our healing for January. Today's January 27th, 2024. I'm Deb Purcell. It's my husband, Rick, and we're Heal, Teach, Love, and our partner in love <laughs> is Philip Barrow. I mean, he is also part of Heal, I'm Teach, Love. Yeah. And we'll begin by clearing yeah. the energy in everyone's spaces, your home, your apartment, your flat. We welcome all yeah. entities in love and light. Yeah. Can, can I just say something, Deb? I'd, I'd suggest everyone close their eyes and do some breath work while you're doing it. Yeah. Yes. Thanks. Yes. We welcome all entities in love and light. We speak to you from the Lord God of our being, telling you all you are healed and forgiven, lifted and enlightened, surrounded by the Christ's light and Christ's love. We ask the beautiful Manny to escort you off to your perfect place. Go in peace. Now, as the white light of the source of all that is, to fill our space with his love and light. Just to let everybody know, these are uh, five minute healings. Um, if it's something that's going to take a lot of time, we'll have to, you know, do it another time. Schedule, we'll, we'll a, private schedule session. a private session. And yeah. we will give great discount for yeah. private sessions. Yeah. So because you, if, you attended this session. Yeah. Okay, so let's go. We'll start. He was here before, I think, a lot of them. Um, Lana? Hello. Hi, Lana. From hey, Canada. Deb, Deb, just one sec. It's yeah. not April, is it? April. Oh. Hi, I'm here. Hi, April. Hi. Sorry. Hi, Lana. I was invited Hi. by Margaret, so... I'm here. Oh, wonderful. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> it was like five minutes before you guys were starting too. And I was like, oh, I missed it. She's like, no, you have time. So I made it. Okay. Nice to see you, hon. Thank you for having me. Thank you for your for the invite and for your love and support for humanity. We're glad that all of you are here. And there's a few we haven't seen in a couple of years. Okay. Yeah. So is Welcome. there anything particular that we need to focus on? Um, my liver, I, I guess dehydration, I'm kind of like dehydrated a lot because I've been really um, working out a lot and I haven't been hydrating the right way that and then just like energy, um, rebalancing my energy and um, my clarity in the mind, like I'm always fog, like thinking and thinking and, anal and working. So stress, I guess, anxieties, maybe. You have some, uh, you've got like a, there's actually a something on your liver this i see a dark spot it almost looks like a bruise mm. it's moving so it's an entity she has parasite in her liver
She also has some parasite in her lung, your respiratory. Have you had respiratory Ill, illness or? A, mm -mm. Just um, the anxiety. Maybe. Do you get like, feel like you have heaviness on your chest? <sighs> yes. I actually, right before we started this whole thing. Yeah. And I was like, what's my anxiety? But yeah. It's actually a parasite. Well, it needs to go. It can't stay. <laughs> Causing the anxiety. Mm. Thank you. You're going to feel energy, really powerful energy. And this is coming from Philip. And it's coming from Creator. That, that The energy comes through my husband. I'm just, I just see it because I'm, I see things, but my husband, the energy comes from through him. Have you got a bad back as well? Young mute, bad boy. Uh, yeah. Um, no. I can feel it. <laughs> Well, Maybe it was, um, <laughs> I was sore last there. week, like really sore. I felt like, um, yeah, I don't know if it was like air back there or what, but it was uh, Thursday and Friday of last week. I cleared. Can you feel that energy? Yeah, I'm mute again, sorry. Um, I did before you asked me the question. I felt the moving energy before you asked me. Okay, now I'm feeling. <sighs> I'm feeling low back. Okay. How's that? Much better. I felt um, a release all the way down. Yeah. So it started in the middle of my back and then it started slow. I'm even feeling like lightheaded now. So yeah. <laughs> so drink a lot of water this week. Bless your water before you drink it. This energy stays with you for seven days and then it just is absorbed in. Okay, yeah. so drink sometimes, lots of water. Sometimes you a lot attract, of water, yeah. Yeah, so, sometimes you attract parasites and it, it's like fear or guilt. So if you've got any fear or any guilt, try and release it, remove it. Try and have a think about it. Is that, <coughs> these these attract these parasites to that chakra, if you get what I mean. The card, the oracle card, which we're not doing uh, with body care, so just look after your body. So that's your physical body. Okay. 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 Have a think Thank about you so that. Much. Be because there's a reason it's cool. But try and find the reason because it might be from that. So. I think I'm, I've am i been working out a lot and I kind of probably just need rest. Um, but my yeah. mind is going, you got to do this, you know, on speed mode all the time, too. Yeah. It, so it, it's kind it's of sometimes you just You just have to get into the heart space and, and try mm -hmm. and shut off the monkey brain because um, when, you, when, you're, when you're up here, that's ego mm -hmm. and that's 
talk and we lose yeah the bound ring yeah thank you guys so much but yeah and also you've always got to think you're the, you're the most beautiful being in the world and you've got no fear no negative if you overwork look after your body uh, at the end of the day it's not worth being over overstressed to create illness yeah we're trying to find, yes. find out where this has come from okay, okay. not now anyway so, so. yes thank you you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you guys so much. I didn't know all the extra stuff. That's crazy. You asked me about my chest before I even got on. I was already picking up these. Okay. No wonder. Thank imagine you guys if, so much. Imagine if you went to somewhere else, they'd probably give you tablets for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna, yeah, really. We don't need those. <laughs> okay. Lana. Hi, everybody. I've missed Hi. you all so much. Hi. It's good to see you. Hello. Thank you. It's oh. good to see you all as well. How are you? What's going on? Um, well, I've had uh, this lung infection, I guess, for the past three years off and on. And um, two months ago, two weeks before Christmas, I ended up getting really sick again. And I still can't uh, breathe properly. I can't. Um, a, a lot of phlegm inside. And um, I've had two rounds of antibiotics and that hasn't really helped. And it's just kind of sucking the life out of me, not getting enough oxygen, um, heavy on the chest as well. Um, and uh, it's also creating a lot of headaches for me. So you've got something in your house. Do you feel a, 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 an energy that doesn't belong there? Um, at times, yes. Right now, he's right here, yeah, in the house. Uh, so it's creating this. And it's giving you parasites in your lungs. It's continuous. It's, it's sucking the energy out of you. This energy is taking over and that's what's making you sick you're it's going to attack the weakest area of you and that's your lungs parasite did you see? it's giving her parasites yeah. it's a there's a negative entity in the house it's actually two of them well my brother is here so um yeah a lot of attachments there just have to get there, him out. I, <laughs> just kick him out. yeah i try i try it looks like i'll be the one i'll be the one moving Oh, it's it's actually it's actually making me want to just go lay down and sleep. Yeah, this, that's how I it, feel all the time. Mm -hmm. It's draining. It's draining me. I can feel what it's doing to you. It's awful. Oh, yes. Yeah. This is going to take a lot of time. It's going to take a lot more than five minutes, Lana. We'll still do the five minutes. Though. Thank you. Do what you can. Uh, Phil's going to have to take this. It's um, his um. This is his expertise. All, I, all we can do is uh, send en healing energy. He can. Do Do you see them, Phil? Uh, I was seeing something. It's attached to it. I, I can't hear you, Phil. Oh, sorry. Um, there you go. There you go. I was seeing something attached to it, like a, a being. You know, a few, some of my teams in there, they probably feel different energies. It's, it's my team in there at the moment. Have you, have you got a team there, Deb? I'll just send it in. <coughs> yeah. 
You say what? I do. High vibration. I feel like there's um, something encompassing me, not a dark, but a protective layer of some sort of something. I'm starting to sweat all over. <laughs> it's just beads of sweat are coming out everywhere. When, they remo when you remove uh, parasites, like, it, it, it takes a lot of heat. Yeah, yeah sometimes the heat, your own heat is starting to burn them up. do your reels with you. Thank you. You know, I was looking at the time and I thought it's still 27. I've just realized it's a day. <laughs> just looking at the wrong number. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I can't hear you for some reason, Phil. Can you hear me it, now? He was... yeah. 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 I'm saying yeah. I was looking at the date thinking, why is the number 27 not moving? <laughs> thinking it was the minutes. Then you have to. I think we nearly done the five minutes now. Have you got a foot? Have you got pain in one foot? Who me? Yeah. Have what did you ask? Or, have you had weird sensation in one of your feet? Yeah, I keep breaking my left foot. Right. Yeah, it's a good wow. link to that. I think you might have an implant in there somewhere. <clears throat> And as Deb said, I think this is a long one. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, your card is a uh, blessing. You get an extra blessing off the angels. So that is quite a, a pain I got there. Yeah. I think we'll have to close, but I've done what we can. How do you feel? Um. I feel a, a lot of energy still around me. Thank you so yeah. much. Um, yeah, me too, Phil. I, I do feel I can take a deeper breath. Mm. What, what uh, is good is when you have pain, what's good is breath work. And you can breathe into the chakra where it's linked near that pain. Yeah, Yeah, it always so, seems to be in the head. Yeah. So you, you breathe and then you send the energy and, and you release it then. Breathe the I'm doing a lot of breath work at the moment. Breathe exercise, move it out. It's like the liver problem. Breathe into your with that other lady. Breathe into the uh, into the sacrum or the root. It's very close to it. Right. Breathe it out. Breathe any negativity out. The same with your head. Okay. Well, I guess I'll have to book an appointment. If maybe Deb, you could send me a link or something so that I can uh, do that and we can tackle this as quickly as possible. Because I'm just exhausted and i have to get moving so um just um are you on my facebook yes of course send me a yeah. private message honey thank you so much okay. okay thank you guys have a wonderful day you okay too. honey bye, -bye. bye. ed and... hi hello so I just wanted to get a quick scan. I, have, I sometimes get a pain down my, the right side of my body. I just want to see, is there something going on? Is there an implant? Or the just... pain going as well. You might as well have well, <laughs> yeah, That'll help, all right. Yeah, well, just, it comes and goes. I don't know. It's like, I thought it was maybe appendicitis or something like that, but then it's intermittent. I don't know. I have no idea. I just wanted to see what could there be something there. Where? Think about the breath, breath work in your own time. Yeah. yeah.
Okay, I missed the beginning of it. Where did you say you had? Um... Oh, sorry, my right, so like a pen, like where my appendix would be, oh. that area sometimes. Um, I see. This is the weird thing. I see a bunch of thumbtacks in your appendix. It's the weirdest thing. Like somebody put 50 thumbtacks in your appendix. Good Lord. So I would say you have a parasite. Or. Parasite, right. <laughs> <laughs> or you've got some little elf in there just sticking thumbtacks in you. Um, nice. Very strange. <laughs> So no wonder you're having um, some issues. Yeah, that explains <laughs> it. <laughs> it's, I feel it draining me sometimes. It's it's a, energy. Yeah, it's a perfect, I mean, it's thumbtacks. You know what thumbtacks are, right? I see. Yeah. You know, that's the clear the clear ones that you can stick on. It? That's exactly what they look like, all in your appendix. Gosh. I'm going to say I've never seen anything like it. So now i got to figure out who's doing it. It could be implants. That many? Yeah. You might be taking them out. There's a lot of them. You know when you order something and you accidentally put another note on? <laughs> it's like, do I laugh or cry? <laughs> Tells you if you can feel the energy now. He's got them in his left foot too. That makes sense because I've had yeah, that's only recently. Sometimes you only have 10. Not 50, 10, but one, one, two, no, five. I just guessed at it. There's only five. What the heck? Oh, he's got, he's got a cockroach in his back. What the hell? I don't know. I, I had a really strange dream about a month ago. I don't remember dreams that often. But there's this tall figure and he threw a spear at me and I caught it. And he said, throw it back to me. And all I could hear was people saying, it's Enki, it's Enki, it's Enki. And people were running. And it was, I woke up. It was just chaotic. So I'm just wondering from that was something... I've heard of that. It's something come. I've heard of it. Sorry? Okay. I've heard of that. that day. Yeah, well, it's, you're back to. I don't know. Like so. I, I just wondered, does something come from that? Enki was the bad guy, wasn't he? Yeah. <sighs> he was the bad brother. I Enlil. think so, yeah. But... No, not Enki. Enlil was. And then, yeah, okay, so it was Enki, was, he did some good. Um, but it was very strange. It was a really weird, weird, weird experience, dream. It's, it's either Enki's bad and messed you up, or he was helping you, and he, he might be connected to him. Oh, maybe one or the other. We, don't, we don't know one or the other. So are these implants, Phil? Yeah. Right, Bob's eating them at Can you feel that energy? I can, yeah. Good. I feel bad back in you as well. Mm.
By the way, your, your card signs, which uh, I think you're helping some in, in Astra. I think you might have got it from helping someone. Okay. Wow, interesting. But was it like that, by the way? Can you see that? Inky. I can't really see it. One minute. I can do something here. Sorry, I missed that. Still is it? A few seconds. Just quite intrigued by that. No, this is a few minutes. I'm just quite. That's so weird. What are you looking I for? Ink. I can't transfer it over to to my Facebook. I can do all the other photos, but not that one. <laughs> okay. Is is Ed done? Have you completed? Yeah. yeah. How are you feeling, Ed? Yeah. Better, but I'm, I'm just trying to figure it out. So did you say I picked this up in the astral potentially? Was it? Yeah, you might have done. You were helping. That's the signs that you, you've been helping someone spiritually. If you don't know. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, but it sounds like the the dream, basically. Yeah, it was. It was very strange. I woke up in a panic. To be honest, it was. It was weird. Yeah. As he was telling me throw it back and he was looking at me throw it back and then I was in the train a random train station people started run shouting it's Enki it's Enki <laughs> who I'm aware who I am aware of or like why I don't want him in my dreams but anyway <laughs> yeah I, thank you thank you so much um I'll be in touch I'll send an email I'll be in touch all right I, I can't yes. I can't actually yes. thought I, I was going to share screen it because it, it's uh, it's quite there must be something in it, but I can't I can't get it on my messenger. There's someone no reason. <laughs> no, it's it's all right. We were supposed to be spending five minutes. Not five minutes. Yeah, so. I'm aware of that. I was intrigued by it. But it was my five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. 
That's, uh, if you ever, if you've gotten the hand, Phil can never keep to five minutes. <laughs> but but we we try. Yeah, I, I know. I just can't help that. All my girlfriends are very happy. <laughs> Thank you. <Ed. laughs> sorry, good. sorry. Thanks. <laughs> good lord. Okay, let's moving on. Thank you, Ed. Yes, be in touch if you would yeah. like another full session. Yeah, good to see you. <laughs> Margaret. Hello, how are you doing? Good, right. Margaret. How are you? I'm good. What can we focus with on for you today? Uh, seems like I have some sort of energy block or attachment on the right lower half of my body like i've been having uh le leg problems especially in my right knee and uh kidney issues and it's just like a week ago i was fine i was moving around now it's like impossible to move up four steps without being in pain you have something on your spine <laughs> What's causing all of this? It is a dead person that didn't cross over. Somebody that didn't cross over. Oh, wow. Monique Simsbury. Don't even know him. Well, you wouldn't know them. They just happen to pick you. It doesn't have to be somebody you know. <laughs> right. <laughs> Bizarre. <laughs> uh, we will tell, we'll help Monique leave if you give me a minute. Okay. She's just, um, she's on the, she's leaning on the muscle or the nerve, nerve that's controlling those. Can you feel that energy? Uh, what was the question? Can you feel any energy? Oh, yes. I can. All of a sudden, I got really warm. <laughs> you may feel her release from you. I'm slowly feeling her leave, even though she's being resistant. But she's yeah, <laughs> she, she don't want to go. She she, was she don't want to go, but <laughs> she's slowly kind of letting go. <laughs> I don't think they realize that they cause us pain. It's an eviction no. order by by source. <laughs> she's releasing okay there's actually someone connected to her it's uh it's coming i think is helping us mm. yeah, it's a mom i believe it's a mother that's coming helping She's gone now. We we'll just do some repairs there. Okay. nerve repair is done you should feel some energy going through you yes i definitely feel it <laughs> you should feel definitely it. starting to feel lighter thank you the, yeah, uh, a lot the of card, water yeah the yeah card is okay release so 
if you don't don't hang on to any worries or any trauma or anything like that, you just need to release it. Okay. Be in love. That's it. All right. Thank you. Welcome. You're welcome. Okay. April? Did it? It wasn't April. There were two April. No, that was Margaret, what you said. No, the first one was April. Oh. The same one. Is it the same one? Is it the same April we already did? No, we did mine. Okay. Okay, so there's two. So it is, you're welcome. Gabrielle. Hello. Uh, Hi, Gabrielle. Hi, guys. Um, nothing specific. I was just hoping you do a scan and see if you pick up on anything. A little bit of lower back pain. That's about it I have that I only have. Mm-hmm. Give you an energy burst. That would help. I just applied some Bengay or Tiger Balm. <laughs> how we can now we can do some um, healing on the lower back, but give you a nice energy burst. Thank you. Wow, this is uh, take a deep breath. He's giving you a lot um, in your heart. Deep, 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 deep. You got it? What you got to do is keep on breathing so you can't breathe anymore and then release any negativity. White, white energy going into that heart, just filled with love. Mm. That's a reminder. Of how much he loves you. Don't make me cry. <laughs> All right. He never wants you to forget that. He needs you as much as you need him. So it's going to be okay. Don't give up. He doesn't give up on you. Don't give up on yourself. I know. Women. So that's really heading home. I'll be okay. I feel all the love. Thank you, everybody. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. He gave you what you needed. I did. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Thank you. So Okay. Yeah, have you got a bad back as well, by the way? Uh, yeah. Tonight. <laughs> I'll have a bad back by the end. <laughs> well, you're such a trooper. Appreciate you, Angel. 
you you card by where you you got a letter from the guardian angel to say he's behind you. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. Mm. I I've got a little message, but I won't tell you. You know what? I feel like <laughs> I already know. I feel like I'm gonna get pregnant real soon. Just saying. Like you there's still, a soulmate coming. Uh, yeah, right. I met him. Right. I wanted to actually you send right, you guys yeah. the pictures. There you go. <laughs> so yeah. I didn't have to tell you. There you go. <laughs> so it so makes arrived already. I wasn't sure if it was arriving or arrived. Yeah, definitely arrived. Um, okay. We're actually uh, going to be moving in together because the whole move and everything. So everything's just kind of like falling into place out of nowhere. So. Okay. I'm really excited. Thank you guys. I love you. Love, love you too, too, honey. Love you. Okay, Cindy Jumper. Mother and daughter right in a row. I know. <clears throat> What's up? Anything we need to focus on? I'm worried about or not worried. I'm I'm thinking maybe an implant. Um, you manifesting one. That's you one. Just, <laughs> you one of us. When you think about it, yeah. I don't see one. Good. Good. I don't feel one. See, when I don't see them, I look for the ones that are invisible and I start feeling around. Nope. But your lungs look a little full. Yes. Um, I actually had a doctor's appointment for that. Um, and they ended up canceling because of the weather. I have since quit using the humidifier part of my CPAP machine in hopes... I've done some research on that. You feel the energy? I think it's just your, it's just weather. To... You have allergies? Mm -hmm. Sinus? Are you there? Do you have sinus issues and just the dripping and stuff? Because it's, it's it looks, see, it appears like more like that. Um, I don't think she hears this. Yeah. Well, you guys froze up for a minute. Oh, can you yeah, hear us yeah. now? Yes. Oh, okay. I I said it uh, appears like sinus or um uh allergies. That, and then it goes into your respiratory. So it's, I don't think it's uh, the CPAP, but I don't think it's that related to that. But um, I have had a lot of sinus drainage lately. Yeah, I think it's just the weather and what they, what, what they put in the skies. The mm -hmm. planes put drops in the skies. So it's yeah. just... In Illinois, it's horrendous. So I yeah, really it is here too. I think it's all over now. Yeah, yeah. Well, they put pressure out in oxygen in the sky. Yeah, <laughs> but they don't put yeah and uh, contrails. 
Yeah. Not the way it come. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a con. All right. It's a con. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and Don Parkinson actually suggested uh, a 432 hertz symbol to place upon the top of my humidifier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been listening to a lot hurt. of that frequency. Yeah. yeah, okay, I will try that. You know, they do sound bowls at 440. That'd be evil. 440? <laughs> they actually do sound bowls at 440. That's really bad. Not 432. Oh, yeah, oh. you, gotta be, you think you're healing with that. Well, that ours is okay, but some aren't. you got to be careful. Oh, yeah, yeah. Divine guidance. Divine guidance. Thank Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, I've just been told you're being given intuition. Follow it. So, use your intuition. I will now that my mini me. Did she just get booted? Yeah. Yeah, she she just gone. I'm back. It just blanked out again. <laughs> are, are you sure you're back? Yeah. <laughs> <I am. laughs> okay. How do you feel anyway? I feel good. Sometimes I can feel the healings and sometimes I don't. It depends on but the frequency, I, what you need. Sometimes. Yes, I I. I need to raise my vibrations. Yeah. <clears throat> breath work's pretty good as well. I, I'm, I, I'm breath work night tonight. Did we do April? Mm -hmm. Yes, we did. Yeah, she's first. Well, thank you all so much. You're welcome. welcome. Good, good seeing you. Good seeing you too. Denise? It's not Denise, it's a left foot. <laughs> yes, <Sorry>. left foot. <laughs> yeah, left foot. Who is it? Denise. Okay. I'm joking. I'm a joker <laughs> tonight. Sorry. Uh, <clears throat> what's up with your left foot? Is it just pain? Um, there's like something you know where the arch of your foot is. It's, Does it move? It, it it feels like a hard ball. <laughs> She's got those tacks in her foot. <laughs> You've got tacks. Okay. Really? <laughs> huh. They're um implants. The newest and greatest implants that look like those clear plastic tacks. That's from today. Uh, implant 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scan it was scan the rest of her. Is your lower back bothering you because you've got them there too? Yep. <laughs> you know, I've got pain in my left foot now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> she's got she's got um the, the same implants, but the, and there, it's funny that they're right on her lower back going across like this like tee, 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 tee. they're not like gathered together she's got some in the back of her neck too back of your neck bother you yeah pretty much nailed it pinned it <laughs> wow we're gonna, we're gonna be able to get all these <laughs> <laughs> Mm -mm. Is the pain in your foot going up? Yeah, it feels okay. It's just like, it's just been very difficult to stand for longer periods of time. But it's good. I mean, right now it feels okay.
Just another half a minute while we get rid of them. Your card, by the way, was truth and integrity. It's basically if you if you make a mistake, try not repeat it, but send it send the information to source. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Drink water. I think the implants are done now. Okay, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Thank Bob, Bob, Bob me, uh, spiritual friend. The energy yeah. stays with you for a week. Hi, Victoria. Where is she? There you are. Yeah, we can hear you, don't worry. You're I on mute. You. You're on mute, honey. Sorry. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. Still Good on to mute. see you all. <laughs> Sorry. Right. You want to scan? Sure. You have a golden glow around you. Anything else? <laughs> a, go a golden glow? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Celebration. You should be celebrating. You should be celebrating. I see nothing know. wrong with you. Yeah. And I see this golden glow around you. Yeah, I agree. But, but you should be partying I, now. Party time. I, I've been in on January the 7th to 14th. I did a seven day transmission with the Buddhas and Tibetan monks. And we, we, um, we uh, fortified, um, you know, with other people doing the meditation it was a really big meditation with other people all over all across the world 146 countries and we fortified a golden grid on the planet to help with the fire and to counter the fire energy that's you know taking place right now that's driving people mad and sending people into dark night of the soul fear lots of fire everywhere it's going to get so chaotic and you know more this will help balance it out Great job. And there are technique, techniques yeah. to help put the, oh. um, to balance were, the energy inside of home too. Yeah, what we've been doing, they've been changing the frequency of the moon to make it a bit darker. So you're, you balance, they did, balance. yeah. yeah, yeah. So. And there were a lot of, um, mm, the, the Stargate opened up for, for the, the, the next, the baby souls coming in yeah. you know that the big group that's coming in that the rainbow souls rainbow souls. yeah the the new, the new earth children we call them the next batch of it so a lot of things are happening and we added the extra energy to come in you know to kind of help build up the foundation for them i saw i met the kids um i think last month i met them you know, in the astro, a whole bunch of them. And just a few days before the portal, um, the Stargate, it was uh, it was my Stargate. So I had um, seen and and uh, opened it 
I opened it and there was a divide. Um, like I was in the forest and, you know, I opened up the stargate for, for, for them to enter. And then inside the uh, ocean on the beach, I saw the ocean split in half, like Moses, it divided in half. So you see, it's telling me, you know, the uh, transition for the uh, the window for the uh, 3D and 5D earth is here, is splitting now. And the people are coming in and people are in the position to make their choice. They have no choice now. Whether you like it or not, everyone is on that route of um, ascension, if you know right. what I mean. Yeah, I, I agree. We I don't even have 3D anymore. Yeah, so it's really, it's really like, divided. Like in between, we're like four at the moment a little bit. Yeah. It's, it's jumping up and down. Yeah, so it's yeah. maybe I, I just brought it up because I was wondering if I should bring this up because this is important for people to understand. There's no hurry now because you're, you're, you're everyone's progressing just certain people will stay behind. You can't help those. But, you know, we don't need to, uh, we got to be more gentle to ourselves, especially this year with the dragon energy. It's very harsh. I mean, oh my God, I've been bombarded like crazy dealing with all the, the, the energies that's going on. And even I, I wasn't able to keep my light because I was constantly being, um, good thing I had the seven day transmission working with every every boot I can possibly work with, you know, at that time. But it really did help. But at least I know this year um I'm gonna be doing more work with the Buddhas. Well that, that celebration okay. it is like a change of path to a, a different way, a different method. So you actually Yeah, I mean I, I knew about my my yeah. Buddha connection and, and my duties here, but I wasn't ready to, I didn't really know what I'm going to do on the, you know, the, the earth, earth realm, because I have no idea. You guys know me. I have really, I, you know, I had no idea what I was going to do, but you know, this gives me something to look forward to and I can work around that. Yeah. It, I got my told, response. Yeah. They hmm? told me if one person lifted their vibration a little bit, then the earth lifts its vibration. So imagine if yeah. you do millions, eh? and millions of children are coming in that are higher vibration. It, it's it's just on, on a roll. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. When when I met the children, they were so excited because I might as well just say it here. Before you know, Japan's earthquake was actually going to. They were having um, tremors and. A tsunami was supposed to hit them, and Pink Terra, which is my Buddhist Buddhic self, she went and stopped it. Then when she appears, she literally, the whole environment turns pink in energy, because that's she's still a pink flame carrier. And she um, stopped the tsunami from happening, and that's when the tsunami warning disappeared. Hmm. And um, at that time, when I met the children, it was in January and they were really excited because, you know, they were showing so much exciting because they can find that they've been watching from behind the scene and, 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 and earth was density was really terrible. And these last few years was even worse. And they were holding their hands. They were really small. They were holding their hands, looking, looking into the, the matrix and everything going on. And it was, they were very grateful. They wanted me to let people know that all you light workers, all you all you adults and all you people working hard here who sacrifice their time and energy, making it possible for them to come in. But they were literally you know, holding you know, Victoria, you mm -hmm. stopped that you would have stopped that to Sam because you're an earth ambassador. She won't be able to do it unless you re basically mm -hmm. gave the go go ahead to do it. And that's what we've yeah. got to do. Uh, yeah. Galactic friends cannot help us unless we tell them to help us, or we connected mm -hmm. to help them because we're an earth uh, ambassador. We all are. All right. Yeah. yeah. Five okay. minute healing is turning into twenty. <laughs> okay. It's a talk all show. Right, now, thank you, Deb. Okay. <laughs> yeah, guys. Thanks, Victoria. That was well, quite enjoyed that. I enjoyed good, that. I enjoyed that. Good seeing you. Good seeing you, honey. Yeah. And well, okay. Well done. Well done, by the way. Congratulations. I'm gonna put a I'm gonna I'm gonna put a I'm gonna electrify your keyboard and everybody that goes over <laughs> is gonna get zapped. I'll send it back.
<laughs> like a cow, like a cattle prod. <laughs> <laughs> you, I'd enjoy that. <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Ronnie. <laughs> Samsung SM, who is that? Who's a Samsung SM? Unless they change the name, I don't think they Ron, are. Ronnie's probably he pro, Ronnie's sending me healing because I, I said that to the cattle farm. <laughs> <laughs> I would I'm not like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the next person is Samsung, but I don't know where you are. Going once, going twice. Okay, Agatha. There we go. Ah, uh, honey, I can't hear you. Are you on mute? She was. I think now it should be good. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah, turn it up a little bit. I turn it a oh. bit higher. Yeah. That's on maximum. I can. Yeah. Okay. What 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 do you need healing for, sweetie? Um, my left ankle. It was fine for a very long time. I know it's in discomfort. It's Did you break ankle, it? Yeah. Did you ever break oh. it? Oh yeah. Because I see that it, it was broken. Yeah, and I have uh, I don't know. 10 pins and the plate. That's why it's pain in me. Have, have you still got the pins in? <laughs> yep. Uh, modern medicine, eh? There's some something in it, Phil. Yeah. Moving around. That's the problem. They go to the weakest area. You go where the low density It's like swimming. Vibration. It looks like an eel. Are you tired? Always. Mm. I mean, for the past three weeks. Uh, I'm mostly horizontal, basically. Yeah. Absolutely exhausted. It's taking your energy. Do you have headaches? Or brain fog or something. It's not like that. Mm, I had a stroke, if that counts. Mm, possibly. When did that happen? 2020, January. Mm. That could be what I'm getting picking up then. Like a, not right in there. Right, so I'm so loud. Can you feel the energy, by the way? Yeah, my lower back, extremely unpleasant. Cannot move.
<sighs> your foot, does your foot feel better now? Mm. My spine is doesn't feel comfortable, but it moved. It was in my lower back. Now it's kind of dissolving, I guess. Well, look at yeah, the Bob's at, at the whatever it was. It said it was nice dessert. By the way, your, your cards dreams, so we're going to be sending you intuition dreams in your sleep, okay? Well, you will do. Okay. okay. Thank you. Get messages in your dreams. Um, yeah, a lot. I mean, yeah, no, just confirm it. Okay. How do you feel now? Mm, I feel pain in my back top right your foot's gone now it's like pressure very strong pressure okay i won't work in on your back i'm working on your foot <laughs> and your head as well What? Not that yeah, I know. Right. How's that? Mm, still discomfort. Okay. But it's kind okay. of, it's different. What you can do is, with your intentions, imagine a little ball of green energy going round and round, taking all the dense energy away, transmute, sending it to source. Okay, so you close your eyes, you've got to think of a round green energy ball going round, drawing all the pain out. Okay. Anytime. Okay. And remember, the energy it continues to heal for the yeah. next seven it's days. Got, so drink, everybody, everybody that's getting healing, it just continues. So drink a lot of water and bless your water before you drink it. Give it light or love. Picture love in the water. Okay, Agatha. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. You're welcome. Okay, Cindy's iPhone. I'm sorry. I I guess I skipped over you. I thought it was Cindy Jumper, and I apologize. I'm no good at this admin stuff and doing healing. I'm done, Bobby. Oh, that's okay. Hi, I'm just laying down. Oh. Um, Which one? Don't get pain in my ankle anymore. All right. Are you guys talking to me or a different Cindy? Yeah, Cindy's yeah, iPhone. Yeah, yeah. That's me. Yeah. You don't look like a Cindy iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> well, I closed two days ago on the new house, but I'm so exhausted. So I'm cleaning out an RV, cleaning out a house, buying a lot of things, and just dealing with so much. I'm just overwhelmed doing it solo. I had a girlfriend help me yesterday. That was great. But um you're exhausted I, I it's relief 
that you sold jails and the union, you, you will get that. Definitely get that. Yeah, right when I sell the RV, it will be release when yeah. I sell the RV. Um, so I don't know, just fix me, tell me what I need. <laughs> I don't if know. Have, if you ever have a lot of stress, stress feeds all your weak points in your body. And yeah. Like I said before, but create a little red ball in your head, whizzing round, whizzing, okay. whizzing round, pulling all the negativity in. And inside the red ball, is, it goes, to, energy ball is, Goes to source or to the moon or wherever you want. No, not the moon. Okay. <laughs> All right. Right. So. Um, and at else? night, I, yeah, at night I clench and my jaw hurts. You know, in the thyroid. So if you have want you to just check of, Have you ever thought of not clenching? <laughs> that might not hurt then. <laughs> well, I I wake up and I'm clenching. Like, why do I do that? I guess there's so much on my mind and. Past yeah. trauma and all that. Overthinking in it, how your life's going at the moment. You've got a lot of big things to work in on. Mm -hmm. It's hard to let it go when you're in the middle of it, but it's, it, it, it's, you have to, there's nothing you can do about it. You, you know, you just take one one hour at a time if, if if that's what it takes we just went through it we just moved across country i mean it is brutal especially when you're older yeah. and yeah. especially when you're alone it was really tough yeah, yeah. i know it's, it's a lot on my shoulders i played pickleball today for two hours i have energy for that and now i'm wiped out <laughs> now i gotta clean and so. Well, it's, you know, that's what you should be doing. I'm so grateful that I, I can play pickleball. I mean, come on. That's what that's what you start with, just your gratitude. Never mind the rest of it. Just be grateful. Oh, yeah, and the people that I meet are so fun. And they all have knee injuries, so I'm fixing their knees and, and all that. I'm not getting paid for it, but at least I'm, you know, getting getting out there and uh, yeah, we do a lot of free stuff but it's not about the money it should be just about helping yeah. humanity that the rest of it is like you know, yeah yeah i know I, well, I, I know i spent i went way over budget i spent yeah so it, it all comes this, back to you it's all what's in your 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 mindset you know you can't worry yes. about you can't worry if, about it you if you if you go over your budget and you worry about that you actually, it's been, you're getting costed twice. <laughs> that's what, you're sending, budget that's what you're sending. About. That's what you're sending out there. That's what you're going to get back. What yeah. you say is what you get. What you think is what you get. So that's what you're worried about. Thank you. I needed to hear that. I appreciate you guys. We never, like we energy? never have to worry about money. We never have to worry about budget. It's not even in my it's nothing in my vocabulary about worrying about all that stuff. Nothing. Yeah. Once I stopped worrying about it, I never had to worry about it again. I know. It's I just need provided. everything. Yeah. I, you know, I went from, you know, simple living in an RV. Now I need everything. So it's, it's, it's a and lot. you'll get, it, it'll all happen. It just, you have to be patient and you have to know that it's all going to happen. It'll all, what, all the things that you need will come to you. It'll all come to you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah and just can't... like the RV, it's <clears throat> the right person that needs that RV will buy it. Yes. Right. Your card is spiritual growth. So that stop fearing the situation. Stop overthinking it. Stop using this. Use your art. And then spiritual yeah. growth will come. So not only are you, the worrying is stopping your spiritual growth. Yeah. Get out of your head. Get it Thank, you. Thank you. Stay in your heart. You're doing for everybody else. You're healing everybody else, but you're not even healing yourself. True. You, feel you the come first. Way. You come first. Because you can't do for others if you're laying in bed sitting there going, oh, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm depleted. Why am I depleted? Oh, I gave it all to everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> come on. <laughs> oh you guys are so smart sometimes you know and it's 
I don't have that many spiritual people to talk to. So, you know, it, it's so nice to. And you're, you're moving into an area that's really not. <laughs> you're only about an hour away from us. Really? Mm -hmm. We drove right by you. Where? Where are you guys? Ocala? Trent, we're in Trenta. Trenton. No, we're just we're west, north of Ocala. Just west of Gainesville. Just west of Gainesville. Okay. Where we're, to come we're, visit you guys. Where 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 all the springs are, the natural springs? Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. We're in the woods. Where where all the agricultural areas are, the strawberry festivals and all the yeah, they they grow watermelon near us. We have cows and all these oh. nature areas near us. Very nice. Yeah, I would have wanted to do something like that, but I'm single. I need community. Yeah, well, I, I we live with our granddaughter and her her husband and, and our great granddaughter, and we are oh. planting a garden and we're doing all that here. Very nice. Yeah, we're we're very happy. Good. I don't have a daughter. I have a granddaughter. I have four. We have four sons. The boys' oh. wives and their families are all clannish, so we have to have our. This is what we have this, as my <gasps> daughter, it's my oldest granddaughter. <laughs> so okay, that's why this is my this is my spiritual life here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's awake. Yeah. <laughs> Bill, are you, are you done, Bill? Yeah, yeah, the same. Well, but you'll be yeah. you'll be just fine. You will find some. There's actually a girl from American Express that I worked with for many many years that bought there too. Mm -hmm. it's not it's fun yeah i wanted a big community i've been traveling solo for two and a half years so i i want community yeah. big community where i can grow and be careful of the, grow. be careful of the loofahs on the on the uh yeah or did you hear about that yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I was out last night and i was like oh you know it, it's yeah it's real <laughs> <laughs> you almost need like a bodyguard to to go out at night. They're just yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah, I heard all about that place. <laughs> no, yeah. How long is this evening going on, by the way? Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, <I don't> <laughs> and what? Do you have a mustache, Phil? It looks nice. I never saw you with a mustache. Uh, I'm just mustache. lazy. I've been where I've been the last two days. Uh -huh. I've had about. Uh, well, four oh. hours sleep, and I didn't eat. I, I forgot to eat today. Oh my gosh! And <laughs> no one reminded me. You know, Shame I'm okay. <laughs> you gotta take care of yourself. You never sleep. No, but I'm fine. all right, I'm fine. I'll let you guys. You're amazing. I, Thank I'm, you. I'm I'm sixty love. next year. That's wow! Impressive, isn't it? I never thought I'd hit that one. No. Thanks, you guys. You're welcome. welcome. Okay. All right. Much love. Bye. 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 Okay, so did we determine who the Samsung phone is? No. All right. So I took care of the Cindy's. We took care of Victoria Radha. Radha. Uh, in Radha. April. Hello. April. Oh, April's oh. son. Oh, April's yeah, son. You missed that one. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's been um, really hyper and having um, meltdowns. I know he's got ADD, but I think it's just from the collective and being in school. And they were um, playing, they were watching YouTube. They don't, they're not supposed to have access to it during the week, but I guess they were up and they hid a controller from us. And found, we found it yesterday. But anyhow, yeah, he just hasn't been himself. Did What's you want me to flip name? the camera? What's his name, honey? His name is Valentino. Hey, Valentino, can you Valentino. Put that down for a second? Valentino. He's on nine. I love your name, Valentino. <laughs> Hi. 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 Yeah, let me put it on speaker. Yeah. Pause that, please. It's frozen. Uh, uh, yeah. Pause that. That's better. Okay. So what can games you... do what games do you play, Valentino? Um Looking, he's like, uh, <laughs> what games do you play? Is it 360? Uh, yeah, no, this is an Xbox One and then the PS4 and then the tablet. Oh, really? I really feel bad. Like, that's all you guys are doing. Come on, put it down so they can talk to you, baby. She's wow. trying to scan you, she's got to see what's going on with you. Okay, now we need to see your eyes. Jesus, see your eyes. Huh. 
Do you ever get headaches, Valentina? Uh, uh, a little. Not a lot. No. When uh, you get a headache, do they hit? Does it hurt in the front of your head or the back? It hurts on the side right here. Mm hmm. Interesting. Do you get a sore throat? Sometimes you do. Not yeah. all the time. Sometimes. Are you want to hold up? Did no. you get a headache? What? When was this? Uh, is, it, is it the last couple of weeks that he's that things have changed? Uh, yeah, it's been the last two, maybe the last week. It, it, was it, it the headache on the side? Was that in the last week or so? When did you get that headache? At school here? Uh, I think it was yesterday or it was either two days ago or one day ago. Yeah, and he's been really pushing buttons at school, which like he's is like I have to have a meeting, but um, like he knows to stop. He's actually been doing really well. So I don't know. I know the a lot of the other kids too have stuff going on, but I can't help that. I can only take care of these, you know. Does yeah. the back of your neck hurt? The back of your neck. No. Yes, he's always cracking his neck. It doesn't hurt, but yeah, I do. Pop she gets neck. very. He gets very tense here. Look at. Yeah, because the back of my, I, I can feel like you have like this. It, it gets almost <laughs> like. <laughs> Why did you just interrupt me? I'm sorry. Now I feel like my soul is What about what about an earache? Did you have, get, get an earache? Does it no. does your head does your head feel heavier on one side? Yeah. Okay. Okay, you can go play your game. I'm going to talk to your mommy. Yeah. I'm okay. Well. <laughs> he, he's a, he's a... Can you shut? Can you shut the door? Yeah, I'm going to. I believe. Shall I sit there first? I've been told he's an Actorian star seed. And he's having difficulty with the frequencies. He's and a what? Uh, let me put my earpiece on. Yeah. He's he, he. You got to talk up, Philip. I can't hear you. Actorian okay, star there. seed. Actorian yeah. star seed. Having difficulty oh, being I... human. We, we all he's, do. He's got <laughs> something in his head, though. Uh, it it's on that side. Uh, are you guys gonna? It's an implant of some sort, but it's it's. Yes, which Darcy's is why it's giving him pain. Darcy's tend to get targeted a lot. And I could feel it. I I could feel his head being feel like it's like heavier on one side why his neck is bothering him it's it's almost i can't even i can't describe it they're coming in there it's like they're trying to make him half half a half a computer half of a human do you see that phil i'm just getting rid of the whatever it is He's constantly playing the games. You got to get those away from him. Well, you, you've okay. got outside, you've got outside to, in the fresh no, air. You, you've got to do something else. Uh, what I used to do with ours, uh, I used to take him to ice skating, or I used to get him to martial arts. Yeah, but some of the games are, are are doing this, are influencing these kids, and he's not. That's even what I'm trying to tell them, and they don't. They think that I'm exaggerating. I'm like, no, you guys. There's certain things that they're getting to them through the games, Phil. They're yes. I know that, I know that. But but yeah. They... So he plays hockey on Saturdays, but he's been off for like four weeks. So um, we have go. to re-register him. So um, he's very hyper. The... Yeah, the hyper is the. Uh... What happens is he'd probably get bored with he's a generator of energy like he's just yeah, he'll get bored of education because I, I did actually and it, it, he'll know it all and not want to learn it because he knows it all 
No. And he's a life path 22. So he's yeah. like. Yeah. So, but he well, needs I, to be in sports. He doesn't need to be on the computer or the, on the do, TVs doing the games. Do martial arts or boxing or karate or judo, something to release that okay. physical stuff. What we used to do with the girls and the lads here, we used to get them to air cadets when they were 13. So you, you think around the box and they used to love it and they used to go out weekends in the woods. Yeah. Woodlands and. It, it was a way yeah, to I, at least a bit of it. Um, yeah, this whole comp this game thing is never down here. My son put it down here today. During the week, they're not allowed to play anything. It's just strictly school. Um, but they're so sensitive. It doesn't matter if the, it's the for a couple is, of days. I, I put shung light in front of it. Uh, okay. So absorb, absorb, absorb the... Uh, okay, uh, this is what I've got. That's mine, yeah. My one. Okay. Okay, okay. I can order that on Timo. What is it called? All right. So I'll put it in his room by the TVs. Just, just, in, just yeah, next to the TV. I'll absorb in some of the uh, manipulation. That's, okay, so it... it's gone, by the way. Got Thank you. Of but it might, it might come back tonight, will really. it? Yeah. I'll ask um, bless protection. his food bless his food and water and uh, so he gets uh... and uh, yours okay, all I'm, of your food and water I'm writing it down bless his food and water Um, yeah I've been slacking a Stick little on your my white puppy. light and, and love in all of your food and you can do the everything in the house <laughs> at the same time yeah I just incensed and bombed the whole house yesterday. I do it once a week. I have to clean my um, ancestral altar. They need water, so I got to do that. But um, yeah, I can definitely see. I'm going to talk to him. Um, let, let us let us know how he how he's doing. So I thank you guys so much. Yeah. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. Have a look at uh, using crystals program. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Can you give me some? I, I know you've got to go in. Thank you guys so much for your time. But what is this star seed? Actarian, Actarian star seed, child. Arcturian. What is that? Arcturian. What? Okay. Uh, I so what are things? That. It's uh, okay. It's like a tribal star seed, you know, galactic being. Right. His star very, family. Very clever. Very clever. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Very fast. Yeah, okay. That's part of the energy I use now. Even though I'm in the drama with the star seed, I use that energy <laughs> sometimes. Okay. So it's Thank good you because guys their, so much. their energy can vibrate cells and separate the true uh, the negativity. It's very clever. Very clever being there. Oh wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you guys. Okay. Retta? Yes, hi. Hi. Um, I've had this pain in my left shoulder for several months, my left arm and left shoulder. I was wondering if you could look at that and also just a general scan. Sure. It almost looks like there's a wooden peg sticking in her shoulder. <clears throat> Like a sharp, like a big sliver. Um, it almost looks like it's from a past life. It's it's like an old antique piece of wood that would have come from uh, ages ago, like like the twelve hundreds. Wow. Which make, leads me to believe it's from a past life. Yeah, I don't think she's 800 years old. What? <laughs> I what? don't think she's 800 years old. No. Just a tad younger. <laughs> oh, I think it's I think it's an injury from a past life that's actually coming up now for some reason. Sure, why not? <laughs> uh, you are, 
in a war and that was almost like shrapnel from this war and it was a piece of it is it was like a a spear <clears throat> and it was the wood piece that was left in there thanks it's should feel the energies <clears throat> And that's what I'm seeing is that the wooden tiny piece of that wood, it's that it was still on your shoulder. You were a man, a native. Indigenous. In Australia. Um. Long time ago. That's when it's from. And why it would come up now. <clears throat> Can you feel the energy? Some do, some don't. I, I feel in the back of my neck some energy. That's probably because it's all related to those nerves. So it's just you're feeling the the, the healing going on. So it's probably the nerves you're feeling the energy from that. Mm. How do you feel now? I still have soreness and limited range of motion, but it feels a little better. And we'll continue to heal. It's really important to work that arm up because you have frozen shoulder if you don't get it back up. So actually start walking with your fingers up the wall and keep going down the wall and then keep going up further and further and further. Um, take fresh ginger, braid it into mm -hmm. a cotton, put it on there and oh. put plastic over it. It'll take the inflammation away. So and the inflammation the, and the pain it'll take away. Put the ginger directly on my skin and then put plastic on top of it? Yeah, I mean, it'll it, put it on a, like an old, if you have an old t-shirt or cotton, oh, and, okay. um, because you don't want it to, uh, it'll drip. It'll, you know, it, it gets really juicy, <laughs> but you want to put the fresh ginger right on your skin and it goes, it'll absorb it down into the uh, inflammation. It's really good for arthritis and inflammation and pain. And it, it'll take it right away. And just I would just put it right on and, and tape it on if you can on where the pain is and it takes the inflammation away. Ginger is great. That's interesting that you said that because just the past couple of weeks I've been putting ginger in my tea. So yeah. something prompted me to really, do that. Really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good for that. I, I, love, I love really uh, homemade remedies that will. <laughs> Um, I will definitely try frankincense, that. Frankincense, frankincense also is good for muscles and and tendons. It also helps for pain. And can I have that. You can also put that in there if it's okay. easier. But ginger works wonderful. And is there anything else um, 
I, I was going to say that sometimes the brain doesn't want the pain to go. It's got a memory, and you just got to get rid of that memory. Yeah, it's like a program in the brain. How can that pain go in the? It's looking for it basically. Yeah, I've got new beginnings. So you going have new something new for me. We need friends or new job or something spiritual. We can see that you're healed, but you have to accept that too and know that you're healed. So this continues. I mean, you will constantly in the next seven days. This every hour, it'll just feel better and better and better. But it's because you haven't been using it, it freezes into a certain, you know, point that you haven't used your shoulder. Mm -hmm. You have to get it back moving again and train it to go back to normal. Okay. I will. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Okay. Ryan. Ryan's here? Ryan from Oz? No, it's an iPhone from Apple. <laughs> Is he asleep? <laughs> he must have gone back to sleep. He has said that I'm a too late. No, you're not too late. <laughs> Ryan. Wakey, wakey. Is that it? Anyone that's new here, you uh, put your... <laughs> Ronnie? Yeah, Wendy would like five minutes to says. Yes, I just saw that. Ronnie waved. And everybody first. else is done. <laughs> um, I have a question. Mm -hmm. My other son heard that you guys told Valentino what he was, what star family he's from, and he's like, can they do me real quick? So I know <laughs> you guys are busy, and I know we've been on here for over an hour. Maybe two, I don't even know. But it used to be eight, so we okay. <laughs> uh would you be able to do Marcelo? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let me let me um put him on hold on really quick. Hold on, Ronnie. Here Marcelo. Okay, everyone's gonna say that. Gonna say, that. Daniel. <laughs> say hello. Hi. 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 I'm gonna get a chicken so we can hear because right. my phone's not good with oh. the speaker. Oh. <clears throat> you have to look at the camera. What oh. Angelic. He's got actor in his role. But he's also got a bit of What was so his name? You got Angelic, Paradian, and Actorian. It's all in there. You're an angel. Uh, <laughs> it's like, no, I'm not. You're an angelic being. You're also, you're an Arcturian, but uh, you're an angel, an angelic Arcturian, which means, it, you know, like the Archangel, Archangel Michael, and Archangel Uriel, uh, they would kind of be your bosses because they're Archangels. <laughs> you, would be, you would be like an, a guardian angel when you uh -huh. before before you came here this for this lifetime so you volunteered uh -huh. you volunteered as an angel to come here and help so you're an angel that's beautiful well, thank, hey, you. thank you thank you you're welcome, you're welcome. Thank you guys welcome. so much that's his uh, <laughs> Archangel Michael they all have Michael for their middle names oh there you go <laughs> <laughs> all of them do yeah so that's really cool thank you so much you're welcome, you're welcome. Thank you. all I right say anything though. <laughs> <sighs> all right ronnie let's see oh wendy no ronnie wanted a healing did he put his hand up he put his hand up he did <laughs> Hi, Ronnie. Hi. Uh, How are you doing? I, I've got a, I've got a new dragon. 
uh, called Aqua, and it's like rainbow, but like a queen rainbow. The, I, was, I was at the Magic Planet, and I wanted to know if I was worthy, even though I should be. And they gave me that, so I must be worthy. Or, <laughs> or they gave me that to make sure I am. I don't know. Are we here to talk about your your new dragon or to heal Ronnie? Uh, we're not healing Ronnie yet. I just wanted to my, do my five minutes. <laughs> Two one, two one. <laughs> I'll get you one. <laughs> Thank you. Rick, scan Ronnie. <laughs> Gotta open his eyes. Open your eyes, Ronnie. There you go. Thank you. Ooh. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Have you felt like you've had company with you inside your head, Ronnie? I'm not sure. Like a a lost soul? Oh, maybe. There's uh I don't know, I've been feeling some anxieties lately that I don't normally feel. Yeah, I think you've got somebody inside your head that's actually in your head. It's got when you put your eyes up close, I went, ooh, <laughs> there's somebody in there with you. <laughs> Marvin. Um, His name is Marvin. Marvin. I don't know any Marvins. So. Well, Marvin, Marvin's been giving you anxiety because he's very, very uptight. Yeah, I've been needing to do things that uh, I've not been doing. Well, Marvin, Marvin it was a chain smoker, and he's very, he's very, very nervous. <laughs> he's full of anxiety. Energy. I think it's your energy that's moving like more anxiety. <laughs> Can you feel this guy? He's really, really uptight. He's high. No. Oh no, I'm asking Phil because oh. I'm this man's got. That's why I said you you had to feel this guy's energy. He's really, really full of anxiety. He was um he crossed over. Well, he didn't cross he crossed over into you. <laughs> <laughs> These sat nabs, eh? <laughs> well, he can cross over somewhere else now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, he's he's he uh <laughs> He thought you were Jesus. <laughs> I get that sometimes. <laughs> yeah, he's not I said, good. well, I don't, I, I said, I, did, I didn't think Jesus was a redhead. <laughs> Actually, he was, or blonde. He well, wasn't, he didn't look like a Jew that, well, that we see today. Now you got people saying he was black and people saying, I, I, I know he, there's a lot of that. Oh, uh, yeah. So I'm not arguing with anybody. Who he is, he is whatever you want. It didn't him to matter, be. you know. He came in as exactly. What he was. But he he swore you were Jesus, so he hopped on board. He's been he's been giving you the best that he can give you. All his nerves. <laughs> there you go, Marvin. Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to um lead him out yeah there's a guy in the UK that says he's Arthur, and he needs me to help him find Excalibur. Okay. So the real Jesus came and said, let's leave Ronnie alone. I actually Where did a card. Go? I did a card, and it said serenity, and it's peace of mind within you. And I think it's for the 
It's for the yes. Mar is it Marvin? Yeah, it's for Marvin. <laughs> Marvin. Yeah. Marvin. Doing a card for the person inside. Hopefully that's the only one in in my energy field right now. Or he's releasing. That I, I felt that. Is it, it was in your head, funny. How can you have a... Okay, he's gone. You feel I've been it? having thoughts that I don't normally have. Yeah. But my vision... And it's, this has been some time. Normally, I can see, feel, sometimes hear, just know everything that's around me. No, you know, no, the entities around me, who they are, what they are. Um, and normally, I can look at someone and see what's going on with them. Um, see implants. I can't see anything right now, and it's been like that for a while. Mm. Your card is trust. I think trust it'll go come back to be honest. Yeah. Bit dislike, you should back. be able to start. You should be able to see now because he's gone. Marvin is gone. <laughs> and just deprogram your brain from not seeing it. If you go yeah. Running. That's the sense of meaning that sometimes the brain yeah, does weird things. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's, it's it limits me when I'm working with someone doing healing work, not being able to tell. When of course. Doing. Okay, so bring the energy up from your heart now. Bring it up into your head. And fill the space that he took up. White, blue, green. It's like the thought form of uh, Raphael. And now I'm going to go through Rick's energies, creator energy of white diamond light going through your third eye. And like a tornado, just clear it out. Third eye is wide open. It's good. How's it feel? Good? Yeah, it's very, you can feel you know, lighter um, yep. opening up. Now it's just getting out of your head and into your heart and trusting again. All of it's there. It never left you. Nice. You're welcome. Yeah, what I wanted to show you, uh, Ronnie. My, my son got me that. I didn't think anything of it for Christmas. Yeah. I put oh, it on nice my third eye I put, and he amplified it. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Metal at the back. Nice. So I put I it on here. I got it near. I go, in, I go into yeah. places and, and amplify all the crystals and, and things. <laughs> but, but when I put that on, it was like I had, I had a decent TV uh, aerial. <laughs> nice. He amplified it all. I, I was quite amazed. Yeah. I've got this Lemurian that I've had for probably, I don't know, 27 years. It's a, it's, nice, a, isn't it? it's a twin. There's actually two and they grew, they grew together and there's, there's only one point, but. Yeah. My favorite crystal. And I've lost many, 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 many crystals. But that one stays with me. I had one that was so 
attached to me. I sold it and then I regretted it. <laughs> I've regretted it ever since. And that was, uh, you could see white light coming out of it when you did Ely. Yeah. And I That's sold cool. it because I was too attached to it. Now I am, at, I want it back. <laughs> That's life. Hopefully it's right. blessing mm -hmm. someone else. Yeah, definitely. Right. Hi. Elaine? Thanks, I'm Brian. sorry. I I apologize. I don't I don't remember skipping over you. you but I just, I really suck at this when I'm trying to do healing and this. <laughs> I'm Did sorry. You payment? Hmm? Did you get my payment? What payment? Oh, I sent you some money this morning. Okay. Oh, I did I haven't yeah. checked at all. We I, I was at the strawberry fields picking strawberries this morning, so I haven't even looked. Mm. But thank you, thank you for the donation. <laughs> but go ahead. Um, what can we help you with today? Well, I finally got my blood pressure to come down, and I did that by eliminating salt. That was the problem. Wow. Um, I just want um just to recharge my liver, my digestive system. <laughs> there may be better salts that you can use other Celtic than regular salt. table salt. Celtic, Celtic salt, 82 minerals. Nope, not Celtic. I use other so mineral salts. Okay. Celery and coconut water and lemon, they all have mineral salts in them. I couldn't, I can't do that anymore. I have to be absolutely no salt. Okay. Oh, I put the Celtic on my tongue and drink it with water because um, it, if I swell at all, it takes that swelling away and puts the salt, uh, the minerals right in your, in your cells where it belongs. It works every time. It's still salt. Salt is dehydrating. It doesn't dehydrate me. Not the Celtic. It's the only one that doesn't. But her choice. Okay, let's find. Your liver looks okay. Are you still having issues with it? I have digestive issues. I have pain like where my gallbladder used to be still. Well, yeah, that's the problem. Your gallbladder being removed. Yep. But it's good to know my liver looks good. It does. You have to watch what you eat now. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> and the list is getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> by, by the way, Elaine, your only message is you forgot me. You didn't do another message. <laughs> I just checked it off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you missed the message. Unless you did it direct to someone else. Did you do it direct to death? See it. I have looked it up. I, I was the first one who wrote. Um. No. I I see. I see. You forgot me. That's all I saw. Yeah. Um. But that's that's all right. I, and I apologize. I, I I I didn't see it, but it may be you up. Send the message in your head. You should have picked it up then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at that. <laughs> Digestive. <laughs> I'm still not seeing anything. So whatever you're doing, it looks like it's you're doing it well. So I are you in pain? Are you hurt? I mean, because I'm not seeing anything. Just before well, I saw things. I I do have the the pain in my gallbladder area, off and on. I mean, it's always there. I wonder why you're having pain there when there's no gallbladder. 
because there's a bile duct there. Do you feel the energy? All right. So it's it's only when you eat certain things that it happens, or does it happen with anything? Anything. Mm -hmm. It's worse with fats, but I'm basically off of all fats now too. For the moment, well, anyway. So even olive oil or things like that will, will. Oh no, I would be in a big mess if I had olive oil or any kind of oil. Wow. wow. And so I said, the list of what I can eat is getting smaller. Mm. Basically vegetables and fruits. That's crazy because fats are extremely important. Yeah. How do you cook them? Then do you just use broth and steam everything? You steam everything? Drink a lot of liquids, juicing, smoothies. So you can't have pasta? Uh, not with gluten in it. I, That's what got me into trouble. I was eating pasta, uh, gluten-free pasta, and it has too much salt in it. Well... <clears throat> The only reason you're allergic to gluten is because of Roundup. Um, the pasta in Italy, Italy is the only country that never used Roundup. So if you have pasta made in Italy, imported from Italy, it's not but done. Have thyroid dishes, they tell you not to eat gluten. Oh. Mm. But, well, it, it's, it's, I'm letting you know that it, I'm, I'm telling you it's it's the Roundup. No, well, I'm not surprised. And every country did it. And that's why people have gluten problems. I, did you ever hear of gluten when we were kids? I'm allergic to gluten. Never. And they started spraying the fields with Roundup. Right. But they also uh, mod genetically modified the wheat. It's been messed with. And they did that in the 50s. So it's not digestible like it used to be. Well, it's, um, well, it's wheat flour. It's, I don't eat wheat flour, but I, I have no problem with any of it. I don't know why. Uh, my, but I eat imported pasta from Italy and I've not had a problem. And anybody I know with gluten problems, I've asked them, I told them that and they can eat the pasta from Italy. I really don't notice anything when I when I eat it. I mean, it doesn't make me sick or anything, but yeah, it, it feeds pathogens, so I don't eat it. Yeah. Well, it, and that's why I also get my tomatoes sauce. You know that when I make sauce, I get imported tomatoes from Italy in you know the cartons and yeah, because they I they never spray tomatoes from Italy too. They don't use as much salt as we do. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Don't buy where your card would focus. It's sending you messages in your, in your head. So just listen to them. Okay. I'm just. Thank you. I've Elaine. done some work on, uh, on your problem. So uh, see how it goes on that. Just one of those. The energy is going to stay with you for another seven days. So um, drink water. Are you allowed to drink water? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have a Berkey water filter. So yeah. I, Berkey's are good. I use a lot of water. <laughs> you can bring through energy from your own toolbox too. Remember. Yep. I know. I'm also one of those that forgets to do that. Everybody has the same. 
just bring it through picture Archangel Raphael's thought form energy. It's white orbs overlay with the blue orb overlay with the emerald orb. Whatever, wherever you want that to go. If you want your whole body in it, do it with your whole body. You just want some organs healed, do the organ. Picture the organ in the middle. Okay. If you want to do it with somebody else, do, do it. Picture that person and then do the orbs over that person. Mm. Okay. Well, I am a Reiki master, so I Ooh, don't use those symbols. I don't. <laughs> Why? I agree with that, Those yeah, symbols right. are not original to Reiki, and they are not benevolent. You, huh. use uh, you, you use some of your energy. You use some of your energy when you're using them in my group. That's what I've heard, and I've seen it. I've actually helped someone who was a Reiki master, and he, he was really in a bad way, and I actually uh, cleared it, and he was okay. Those those when they were put into your body when you were. Uh, attuned uh -huh. they are openings they are they, they put openings in your body that other things can get into and that's the way it's it was meant to be that's the way they're designed huh now i haven't used them in a long Mr. time Kata, mr kata brought these things in i think i just the time that was poor ranking places only in japan 100 years ago i've, I've studied it a bit Ryan, are you back? Wow, he is there. That might be better now. No way. Okay. I've got this. I'm not. I'm not putting it on Facebook. What, what I do, but uh, I've done it in the past. Yeah. You've done what? Uh, sorted any problems with the symbols. Oh. Yeah, I've done that in the past. Uh, someone was really in a bad way, and I, I sorted that out, so I know how to do it now. Because uh, 100, yeah, it was four different Reikis, weren't they, for 100 years ago in Japan, and one of them found the symbols on a mountain. So I have studied it, everyone. Uh, if people use it, that's their choice. Yeah, but just be careful. Okay. okay. Well, I'll cancel them all out then. I was doing right. Reiki before I ever I've took it. it we, we are connected now. I've done that. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying what I did to, to stop that, but I had to meet the, uh, I had to meet a demigod. So I'll just go from there. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. Hi, Ryan. Hello. How are you going? How are you going? Good. Oh, we voice. did call you before. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was not. Yeah, well, I just woke up and I had to have the shower. Like, you know, I didn't really want to come on here without having a shower. <laughs> are you, so, what do we have? Um, anything specific, or you just want us to do a scan? Yeah, it's uh, an update. Yeah, to see if I'm doing better these days. You know. Thank you. You're welcome. Here's you know, your pain, pain in your neck. You, you, you are good, but I did feel a pain in your neck. Mm -hmm. What? The card says uh, a retreat. You need a, an holiday, a physical holiday, not an astral holiday. Here's you're doing really well. The I don't, I don't see anything. I don't feel anything. How about you? I mean, have you felt fine? I've I've actually feeling better than I ever have. Like I just keep my vibration okay. high, and then these, you know, those parasites and implants can't attach to me. You know what I mean? Just That's right. Not not play in that. Don't play in that. You know, vibration. Well, you've done a good job. Oh, well, that's cool. Thank you. <laughs> Really good job.
Yeah, apart from the energy in your neck, you seem okay. And you, you could do with an holiday. We all need an holiday, I would say. So. Yeah. Yeah, holiday off this planet, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we yeah, all that would one. that would be nice. <laughs> a couple of years, a couple hundred years. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for that. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Wendy. Hello. How are Hello. you guys? Good. Good. How are you? I'm doing mostly good. <laughs> <laughs> So um, I went to a wedding and then I noticed in my photos, I had some beans that were showing up as lights in my eyes and around the side of my head. And then, so I had that distortion, but then I went to a doctor's appointment and after, well, during the appointment, while I was in this, you know, I noticed there's a lot of elderly people there um, as I was going in. But anyway, while I was sitting in the room, all of a sudden I got this wave of nausea and just overall feeling ill. I attributed it to possibly, you know, people who come there when they're sick and ill. But um, I just wanted to see if you were maybe picking up anything that I hadn't cleared out. And because um, <laughs> it was pretty overwhelming. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. you feel like you have something in your throat um actually yeah it's on the side of my neck that kind of comes and goes here more than here but I don't know I don't know that I've felt it moving around in my throat area but you have like little people all around like little and they're not fairies. They're like little cupids. <laughs> the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. They're like freaking like, little, little cupids. I like to keep you entertained. It, I'm <laughs> telling you. <laughs> I, one, two, what? They're, they're like, some have horns and some are not horned like they're like they're like good and bad one side of you is good but one side of you is bad that's right. what it's showing and you like you said you've said you felt these things around you well that's what i see they're like devil and angel but they're cupids that's so weird <laughs> yeah what do we do with them? <laughs> but they're all in with this this area like your head and neck mm. uh, and there's a lot of them mm. they come and they're showing me and then they disappear but they're not really gone so they're like I don't know whether they multiply and then they go into one I, I don't I don't know they're like kind of weird <laughs> I don't know whether they go inside and then come outside. They're playing a game with me right now. Now you see me, now you don't. Hmm. So I see like four and five of them on one side and then they go away. Frozen. Oh, are we frozen? She's frozen. Yeah. A little bit frozen. She's pretty frozen. Yeah, her eyes are moving a little bit. Do you, do you see what I'm talking about, Phil? I feel like I'm like, this is the strangest thing. And she's got, it's almost like they have a hangman, like they've got a rope around her neck and like someone wants to hang her. It's, that's not funny. Oh, she left. Oh, there she is. Yeah. You're mute, uh, Wendy. Sorry, issues with the Wi-Fi here. So they're coming and going around my head. Yes, yeah, sir. And and they've got a rope around their, your neck and they want to hang you. 
Oh, isn't that fun? I just get the funnest beans. <laughs> and, and, and the payment's $100, and we'll get rid of it for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're on. <laughs> no, you're using spiritual dollars, aren't you? I don't know. You all do that. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, they multiply, then they go down to a few, and they keep hiding. They keep going, I think, inside you, and then come outside, and they're they're not very nice. They that look sounds like, about yeah. Weird. You know, <laughs> keeping keeping me entertained. Uh, no, I'm I'm kidding you. It's this is not entertaining for me. I don't. Yeah. I don't like the the rope around the neck deal. Yeah, yeah. I've uh, I've been noticing that, and sometimes I'll feel it like my shoulder all of a sudden I'll be like, come on, what is that pain from? So maybe that's when they're doing the in and out business. <clears throat> yeah. They're not very pleasant. Then. What to do, what to do. <laughs> um, let's fill. That's just Phil's area. Is it? <laughs> yeah. The warrior, the warrior area. Yeah, we're working out. This is the negotiation. Where do those little dudes come from? Yeah. Where do they come from? Yeah. Yeah, they won't tell us. They won't tell you? Just trap one, and we're doing a deal now. Yeah, they're going. Yeah, they turned into pigs now. Hmm. I wonder why. Uh, you, tra you trapped one, and now they're they're pigs. Oh, now they're snakes. Ooh, they just keep changing. Now they're pigs again. They go and go. Yeah, they they were they aren't cute little cherubs anymore. Well, you know cherubs have four faces. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they go. A little bit of black male. They weren't really cherubs though, Ronnie. I know. <laughs> we'll change and it's, them. It's... <laughs> It's funny, somebody sent me something and it had like some weird messages to it. And I said, that's got some really shit energy attached to it. Like you need to like stop forwarding stuff that you don't know what you're doing. And you're just like looking at information that you have no idea what it is and sending it to people because there's stuff attached to it. So apparently. That sounds like I, they, it could be that. <laughs> You've got celebration, by the way, which means you're. I think spiritually, you're changing an angle a little bit. You, you've got something planned. You don't have to tell us. Or something's coming up that's different. Like a different pathway a little bit. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, what we did, we trapped one and we threatened, Bob threatened to eat it. <laughs> oh, you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're all joined. So it, it, if you get one, I think that they all get the same message. It, it's funny because um, it, it's almost like they have one brain and they all just are on off the same person or thing, same thing. So not could, that, could that also be why I was getting like a lot of confusion? I was just having like almost this whole month, just days of like, I just like I'd sit and try to focus and I was like, where is my brain? I just can't concentrate. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they were taking your energy too. They were sucking your energy. Yeah, yeah I had the feeling that was happening. That's, that's what they're good at. Mm -hmm. So they that's would have been sending it any this sort of manipulation energy to get you off, off guard a little bit, a bit, a bit dizzy. So I can imagine it was. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's one, Anna, called 
Thanks. Uh, I think are we finished, Wendy? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Wendy. Okay. Thank you guys very much. I love you. You're love welcome. You love you too, honey. Okay. Is one, Noel, is that Kathy? Okay. I, I have no camera on this computer. Is it okay or not? Hmm? What? Oh, where you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, have no, I have no camera on this computer, but I, I can join from another one. I'm just, I just have my picture of Christmas trees. Mouse and join. Do you know, you I could see, see that. That was invisible. Hmm? So, do, do you need to see me? Of course. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm asking to join on another computer. Yeah. You do that bit. Yeah. Connecting. Okay. Here I am. Recording, Recording in progress. Turn your mic off on one of them. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, gonna go. I, I like, I like, I like, I like, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah anyway uh it's not very easy to see me it's very dark yeah, now you're new to the uh event you're last but you you also first <laughs> there you are much yeah. better Jeanette, Jeanette wrote me she had to leave yeah is there uh something specific that we should focus on is it uh, only physical no, mm -hmm. anything. Anything. Okay, because for physical, I have swollen legs and eczema at my fingers. And the thing is that I'm very overwhelmed and very stressed out and very tired. Yeah. Can you remove your glasses from me for a minute? Because I'm getting reflections. Do you feel like there's somebody? Do you? Do you feel? Do you, do you feel like there's somebody inside you? Somebody inside me. I feel outside of me mostly. <laughs> Definitely have um. There's a Marcel. Marcel? Marcel. There's somebody that died and um, decided to uh, join you. Uh, in, they, <laughs> and their name is Marcel. Did you see if it's a guy or a girl? It's a man. Uh, I, I've known a girl, Marcel, not a guy. Oh, I've known one, you yeah, I don't think he's dead. Um, this Marcel is 97 years old. I don't think you know this person. <laughs> well, the, the funny thing is that my granddad's last girlfriend was Marcel. Oh. But she would be even older than that. No. Oh. This is a, a man. Yeah, I feel the energy's going in there. He's making me tired, boy, oh boy. <laughs> what he's doing is um, he's actually draining you. He's using your energy just to survive at this point. Um, and, and they can, it's not on purpose. He just, just, uh, what? what happens is they don't know they they're grabbing onto somebody who's got light and it's like a false light to them. They just go to you. They don't know where to go. So they, they jump on a person that's got light. You know, you've got a beautiful light. They jumped on you. 
and that's the false light and he's using your energy and that's what's draining you and confusing you and giving you any if they if he's got anxiety you're going to get his anxiety if he's got pain you're going to get his pain this is what you're getting is every feeling this this deceased person has you're getting and you're feeling maybe so, i got him when i moved here uh i don't know i can't tell you uh I, he's been there for a while though um i'd say three months four months oh. how long has this been going on <sighs> I don't know. I I moved two and a half years ago. But I, I don't know. What happened four months ago? It could be six months. I'm giving you a, a guesstimate right now because it seems like it could be a half a year. It seems like that he's been there. And I think that's a while that, that, that you would have these symptoms. Remove him. So I'm going to remove him. Well, I'm going to volunteer. I'm going to help him voluntarily leave, and you'll feel a difference. Okay, just give me a moment. releasing <clears throat> and he's gone to the light now let's now we'll do some healing Can you feel the energy going in? No. You ask me if I feel it? Yes. Can you feel the, the energy going in? Some can, some can. Yeah, I actually feel some kind of a movement up from, um, let's say, the solar plexus to, to, to the crown. I think. I truly think feel something in, in, in the forehead. Yes. That's we're creator's energy. All the That's... Damage. Yeah, we're repairing yeah. the damage that uh, mm -hmm. your soul has created.
How are you feeling, no, Noel? Well, it's strange. I feel like there is a big hole in between the solar plexus and the heart chakra. And, and some emptiness in, in my head also. It's not empty. It's uh, the person's gone now. So it's, it's all healed and you're back to normal. Where before you, he was taking up space. <laughs> well, <clears throat> drink a lot of water. My energy comes back because I don't have the energy for nothing right now. It's not yeah. Right. One of my aspects said he thought it was an all you can eat buffet. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> he, he, one of my aspects one of my said it, he thought it was an all you can eat uh, buffet inside your, your energy. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Funny, it's not the place I go. <laughs> I don't want you, to be you, The card no. is support. You've got a team around you. You can ask them for help as well. Yeah. What? Sorry, what card? You have a support team. This support is a card. Team. Yeah, ask them to uh, to help you as well. Thank you. Ah, I think that's pretty good. Should be all right in a few days. Yeah. yeah, you should feel a lot better. This energy stays with you and it continues for the next seven days. So you're going to feel better and better and better. Just drink a lot of water. Bless your water before you drink it. And your food, everybody should. Thank you. All right. So Joan is next, please. Hi, Deb and Rick. Hi, Hi Bill. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Um, I would like to have a scan, please, in my I think in my back because I fine. Yep. I see that. <laughs> Cause I when I meditate, it's like uh, the energy is so much like kind of it's heavy <laughs> and it's uh it's like a sprain in my my back do you feel yeah. like there's someone standing on your shoulders <laughs> yeah something like that like it's so heavy like somebody is like i feel um, like somebody's standing there keeping you down waiting. pushing you down get down why they do that <laughs> Do you have a special place that you meditate? Uh, yes, in my in my bed in the room, I have my pyramid. And and under the pyramid, they're pushing you down. Oh, why? <laughs> well. Obviously, there's some negative energies that are getting into your pyramid. So, I mean, it, it, it's you need to cleanse. You got to clear your room. There's something in there. Huh. Okay. Do you have a crystal at the top of the pyramid? Yes. I have the, I have the magnet, too, with like a, a circle magnet with the, uh, um, with a copper. And a, a crystal, and a, and a, it's an Andara crystal. And they're telling me that you need to cleanse the crystal, and I don't know why. What 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 is this? What is the magnet for? The magnet. It's for keeping out the negative energy, I think. <laughs> you don't need a magnet for that. You need to just train your to, to tell train your crystal. You can you can do your the crystal can do that. You just ask your crystal crystal to do that. But it needs to be cleansed. Okay. Crystal. Because I cleanse I put them in the sun. It's funny, but that maybe needs more. <laughs> yes. The, the room's been cleansed, by the way. Yeah, the room oh. need, that needs that need to be cleared. Of no, I, well, I've done it. Uh, right. Thank you. But the 
crystals. Crystal. Just ask the crystal crystals to do that, but I don't know whether the magnet is doing anything for you. I think the crystals just needed to be cleansed and ask the crystals to surround you with positive, only positive energies and, and keep all negative energies out. You don't need the magnet to do anything. Okay. It's not helping. Just the crystals. Your crystals are your crystals. And you can ask them to do that for you just by holding them and, and going into a med, you know, like do the breathing first and asking them to do that. You're just, they're your crystals. I see. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you. For this. Thank you. Uh, people. And manifestation. There you go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, you can manifest. No, no doubt. <laughs> Uh, you yeah. you go and receive peace of mind on your on your journey. Yeah. So okay. that manifests. Do you want do you Thank want you. to listen to my actually? Where's your crystal? Oh, uh, well done. I've got my bowl. <laughs> I, will cleanse, I will cleanse it, and you can program it. Oh. Oh wow. Okay, do that. So go in. <laughs> That's beautiful oh, energy. <laughs> Hold the crystal up again. Uh. That didn't look like a crystal. Glass it's glass. Andara. It's an Andara crystal. It's like a... Most Andaras are just glass slag. There's not... They're, they're yeah. fake. And then this. And then I have my... Uh, my Shiva Lingam with the, uh, the skulls. So that's why. This is a uh, lady lockness. <laughs> yes. No, no, the, the, the Andara, the what you said was an Andara. Hold that up. Oh. So I get this. I have multiple. Mm. Uh. I can't tell. I don't. I don't legitimately feel that those are Andara, but they. I'm not going to say that they aren't. They are um, Andara crystal from uh, Nelly Magic. Yeah, I'd say that 95 percent of the the Andaras out there that people are saying Andars are not Andara. Well, okay, maybe maybe I I went to uh Nelly maybe somebody Magic. else can look at it and see if they are. Uh, I went to personally Nelly Magic in California, here in California, and they you know they they found the uh, Andara crystal in that cave <laughs> in the facility area. So Nelly Magic is personally pick it up for me. <laughs> so that's why. Mm -hmm. I, and then I, I have a dream that when I first uh, get this crystal and the being came out <laughs> and they uh, helped me on my kundalini. And I, yeah. Well, thank you so much. You're, You're welcome. welcome. You're welcome. Nice okay. seeing you. Yeah. Okay. It's, uh, and you, that's it now. We haven't got Jillian, have we? I can't see it. <laughs> Katie, did you need anything? Does anybody else want anything apart from Jillian? Who's last? <laughs> yeah, I'm mute, by the way. 
Nobody else is going? Good? No. Yes. Hello? Um, can you scan my friend Chris first? Uh, just one sec, Sunil. Do, do you want it or not? You, yes, you please. Okay. Do I'll you have to, Jillian? Yeah. Do wait, Jillian? Okay, thank you. Yeah, she said she wants to be last. She wants a special one, I thought. You making you some ham? What? You making you some ham? Come on. I'm not getting anything. But... So you don't have any attachments in, um, or implants. I'm getting that, but I'm also getting that you just need to do more spiritual work to get your power back, more to the light. The, I'm getting the rest is up to you. You have, um, it, it's work that you need to do for yourself. Bringing yeah, through the I, light. Yeah, by doing work your for the light, you're doing work for yourself as well. Is he frozen? I don't know, frozen? it's easier to say. If he isn't, he's stood there, right? <laughs> I can do a picture at the end. Yeah, Sorry. he's frozen. What do you think this card will be? Spiritual growth? Support team? Wow. <laughs> Spiritual growth. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can tell I didn't. Uh, <laughs> there you go. I said it should be, and you pulled <laughs> that card. <laughs> I shuffled them as well. Well, yeah. yeah. It's only it's only a full pack. Yeah, a clear, clear message that is definitely this is the ball's in his court. That this yeah. is this is his time to. Take over. Yeah, exactly. We've done I'm all. Amazed at that. I was pretty amazed on that one. Yeah. Jillian. Hi, do you mind scanning my friend Chris first? We don't mind. Uh, just one second. I just want to give the message. Uh, you got a spiritual growth there. You've got a, it's, the ball is in your court with that. Uh, if you fear the past, if you fear negativity and energy and, and go in a low dimension you won't go, get there it's up to you to raise your vibration yeah yep all right That's so now, we've done that now right 
Okay, what's up, there. Chris? Oh, yeah, thanks for having me. Um, I was just interested in having a scan. I think you guys uh, did it once before. And... Yes. I remember. Anything in particular that you uh, want us to focus on? On healing. Uh, yeah, I was healing and general scan. Anywhere particular in your body? <laughs> I see something in his lower back on his tailbone. There's this, there's um, it's black. Um, and maybe like mental clarity too. That would help. Do you have any lower back pain? Um, occasionally, but nothing too. There's actually something there. Um, I don't remember seeing this the last time. It's like a, a rectangular box, uh, Phil. Mm -hmm. That changed shape. It's not a, it's not a, <laughs> It's not an implant. It's um, it's moving. Been hanging around Jillian too much. And there's something at the top of his spine. It um, looks like a pin cushion, but it's those. Um, tax. Yeah, it looks like tax, but it's in something that looks kind of like the uh, tic tac toe board or something. It's a little tiny one. His right foot's got some in it. Right foot been bothering you? Um, yeah, actually, one of my shoes, the right foot had like an extra like insole in it. I just realized today, so I was off balance a little uh -huh. bit. Uh yeah. huh. Oh. Like they've been they've been implanting you. They discovered you. Um, you have uh. But I'm also getting, have you had gut ache lately, stomach ache or gut ache? I think they're creating an energy in there. Yeah? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, big time. <laughs> I, I think it's actually the implants that's creating that. Look out of this. Look nice. Hey. A bit of brain, you brain. you have a purpose here They're not going to tell me what it is, but you have a very important purpose here. That's why they're now discovering you. It's something that you, it's very important that you discover yourself. You are very powerful. Let's stay in your heart, stay out of here. Focus on love and helping humanity.
and your tool chest will just open. It'll just open and trust the messages that you start getting. Okay. Focus, focus on that. That's why they're now going to try and stop you. But you're stronger than they are. Keep remembering that. Your ovary implants, everything's gone. Yeah. And your purpose is, well, I'm not allowed to tell you. He, I can't <laughs> tell you. They, I can't tell you, but he can break the rules because he's not, <laughs> not. He's not a human like we are. <laughs> I don't know. I get prodded. Cattle prodded. <laughs> That's what they just said to me. Yeah, you've got to find that. I think it's your job to find that. Yeah. I'm changing a little bit, I suppose. I'm not, I, I do go by certain rules if I want to. They won't even tell me who he is. You tell me. <laughs> well, one of my aspects tell me. So. But I'm not. Oh, it, Depends what you mean. Who he is, he is himself. But what what his job is, you mean, and what he's connected to, and all that. Yeah. And that's it. All right. Well, thank you so it's, much. It's not Michael, anyway. <laughs> thank you. Is it Jillian next? Oh, his card. By the way, you got a guardian angel behind you. It's. it's yeah, it's, he does. <laughs> His, his guardian angel says he's behind you all the way. And if you ever want any protection out, he'll, he'll do it for you. Yeah. I think he's a bit of a rebel, actually, the guardian angel, so it'd be all right. Yeah, there we go. Guardian angel. Once again. So he's not a parasite? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to do a sarcastic comment to say it, this, this parasite was next to it, too. Uh, yeah. Thank you for your help. <laughs> thank you for your help making the poster yes. for today. Thank you rock. No problem. Uh, yeah, I just need some extra pain healing support for my uh, lady. Have you got pain here? Around here? It's like uh, still in my lip. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, is it possible for me to maybe get taken off like the space insectoid missions or am I the only one that could do that? Cause uh, I'd like to maybe yeah. just take the demons and shapeshifters or something. You signed maybe. up for it. That's your job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I right. could go in your cash. It could the message I'm getting is this is what you asked for. This is what you signed up for. Okay. If you were powerful enough, Jillian, go in your cash records and delete it. <laughs> no, that's I'm not. <laughs> we don't know what will happen with that, what the outcome is, if it's foolproof or not yet. But all right, I'm requesting. See what's up, but I won't quit. I will stick to what I said I would do. Let's get some healing in there, please. Powerful, long lasting, forever and ever.
Can you feel that? Mm -hmm. That double whammy there. Philip and Creator. Rick okay. Rick's energy and his. Thank you, Rick's energy. <laughs> You're welcome. You here. Thank you. Uh, you you can't forgiveness, so you've got to forgive them for giving you this job. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That was a good one. I bet they just said, oh, it's a nice, easy one on Earth. It's a few insects, nothing really bad. <laughs> a few times. Watch what you sign for. <laughs> it's true. Hey, I'll help where, where I can help and where it's needed the most. It, of course, it's not going to be easy, but... When they asked me, I said, no, no, no. And then they said, the planet is the beings it basically killed one of your aspects on Orion. I said, I'm going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they know me. <laughs> now, I've got more of that story, actually. I was killed. On, I was actually on a dragon when it crashed. On Orion, and they cut me head off. I've seen more of it. Yeah. And I, I went attacked Orion because it killed my family on, on Malak, Malak, the planet. So I've got a bit more story on that. Can you feel that? Yep. Lots, of, always lots of feelings all the time. You've got an aspect, it's a cherub, there you go. A cherub? Yeah, I don't even know what, I think it's something to do with the end. I can't remember. Did you say a cherub? Yeah, something like that. After what, what we've that? already been through with the nasty ones today. <laughs> no, it, this, it's not a cherub, it's a, like a baby angel. What do you call it? A cherub. It starts with an S, come on. You tell me. Seraph or seraphim? Yeah, that's the one. Yes, yeah. that's it. Yeah. Sarah. I got the wrong word. I got, the wrong word. I got you. Well, thank you. Yeah. I like your backdrop too, Phil. It's looking good. Mm -hmm. What? I like your backdrop. I like it. You like that? Yeah. I like the yeah. black and white. Yeah, Victoria's been calling me a, a teenager. That's because I'm only, I'm only 19 next year. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go with it anyway. Okay. All right. Thank you, everyone. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Uh, Deb, I wanted to mention when I was using the sound healing bowl and I was going round, I was setting my intentions in the bowl to reprogram the crystal. Yes. But yes. you can also send healing. So you, you, you connect to the crystal bowl and you send, you program it to what you want it to do. It's quite clear. I didn't know that until today, until five minutes ago. <laughs> well, I'm going to a crystals in gem show tomorrow. Um, what is good uh, anti-insectoid crystals now? Uh, any crystals you recommend or fill? What's what's in your ball that you use? What? The crystal ball? His yeah, crystal it. ball is half dark and half light. What is it? Oh, that. It's unique. <laughs> okay. Oh, that. See, it's mm. half dark and half light? Yeah. That's I want one, but they're really expensive. I don't know if you can get another one. <laughs> I yeah, I know. I've yeah. seen them, but they're they're really expensive. What yeah. what is it? Do you know? It it pulls dense energy and negative energy into the dark part, and then it turns it light. But if it's a very dark entity or anything really dark, the dark part goes darker. You know? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Get the crystal that attracts, that asks you for no, it. But, you know the score, don't you? Yeah, I know this, yeah. It, but, it and, buys you, it, it, well, it connects to you and then you've got to pay the cash. <laughs> yeah. Any anti-insectoid ones or healing no. insectoids? 
you know you can program the crystals you will know when the crystal is yours because you can feel the energy i i walked by these crystals that were the big ones that amethyst and and i can feel their energy i mean it actually, it actually goes boom, boom at me like that and i'm yeah. telling you I want, if i could afford the thousand dollars that they asked for them i would have bought them yeah. i had one tell me uh, how I, I I went, oh my God, how gorgeous are you? And the thing went, uh, it telepathically said, you're beautiful. You're not as beautiful as you are or something like that. And I went, uh. <laughs> like, you said, are you magic crystal? <laughs> I, I magic think the crystal. clear one's the best because you can Give me the money to, to buy you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I buy a bunch and then I barter. I ask, oh, hey, it's the end of the show. Do you, would you, I know it's, it's not enough, but would you take 80 for this instead of 120? And they always, they usually say yes, because they don't want to carry it, but that's all secret. <laughs> yeah. Well, I want to thank everybody for coming today. Yeah. Those that came and left, we love you. <laughs> Those that are still here, we love you. Thank you for a beautiful day. And let you know when next month is going to be. Yeah. Thank you, Phil. It was a beautiful day. Thank mm -hmm. you, Ronnie, for sharing your yeah. healing and giving us this beautiful energy, too. Love everybody. Talk to you are we soon. All, are we all connected to ground ourselves? Yeah, I'll use my crystal ball. Yes. Is it worth me using this? No, I'll just use it because I can't. Yes, let's ground ourselves. Oh man. Too late. But I just mentioned Sunil. We we gave you all hey, the healing, you. but you'd froze. And I got a card okay. and I actually said spiritual growth before we picked it and it came up. We okay. me and Deb picked it. You need to to you need to get rid of all your dense energies. You, you're fine. There's nothing really wrong. It's just that you you can get yourself out of this by yes. doing so how, work, spiritual do, work. You got to do okay. A lot, how, do, of, you, hmm? do, you, do you think it's possible for me to walk again? Uh, you don't even have to think about that. You've just got okay. to do your spiritual work and then see okay. what happens. Because you've got yep. spiritual growth. And that spiritual growth has come out, but you've got to, you've got to make it happen. Yeah, yeah. Creator said, Father said it, that it's all up to you now. It's up to you to do all the energy work for yourself. Bring it through, stay in your heart space, get out of this head, get into the heart and start raising your vibration. 